What's going on everybody? Patrick Calmerton. I am going to show you how to tie up a drop shot for uh, perch fishing, bluegill fishing, any kind of fishing, but this is going to be for perch and bluegills over on the Mississippi River. So first things first, I have, you know, the rod and reel uh, set up. Doesn't really matter what I'm using. I'm using a St. Croix um, with a Predator clam reel. So that's what I'm using. It doesn't really matter. I take a um, frost braid. So I have eight pound frost braid going down to the first um the first three-way swivel so i'm going to tie that on all right now that i have the first um uh, three-way swivel on i'm going to go to and put the four pound i use the four pound floral carbon frost and i do about six to eight inches to the um to the second three-way swivel of course, when I do this, okay, so it comes straight down like this. I got it coming from the top, and I'm going to tie that 6 to 8 inches on the bottom. That way, off of the tether, or the third one, is where this is going to have my hook um, with the current of the Mississippi River. So, the line comes down to the top. I'm going to do a drop coming off of here. And you can do a series of one, two, three. This one's going to be a two hook drop shot. That's what this is going to be with a uh, with a little bit of line coming off the back end of each one of them, so the current will take it away from the line. I'll show you. So now I got the three way swivel right there. And I have my eight inches and I'm going to actually put a another so I got that one there I don't know if you can see that and then I'm going to go from there to here and I'm going to put another one a another three-way swivel right there now I have the three-way swivel here going down to a three-way swivel here then I'm going to put another six inch drop on the bottom side of that for the weight to be on the bottom. That way it's about six to eight inches off the bottom at all times. So this is what we got going on. So right there's a sweet three-way swivel coming up to another three-way swivel to the drop shot right here. So right here, I'm just going to put a clasp on there. That way I can connect it to the rod without a weight hanging there at all times and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done now from the three-way swivel so I have a three-way swivel right here okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put about a three to four inch dropper coming off of this piece here with a bead and a red hook that way it's going to sit about that far back the red worm is going to flutter back here in the current and it's going to be away from the main line. So here you have it. Right there you have the first three-way swivel with the floating hook behind it. There's a second three-way swivel with the floating hook behind it. And right here is the clevis that you just put the, the weight on. So that's exactly how it looks. How to look. 